the BME Role Models Project would be that staff feel more supported, staff have a better sense of well-being, and staff who face issues like racial abuse at work from patients would have a listening ear to just have a chat. So I think my role as CEO is creating the conditions where we value and support our BME staff, and for me that means that we prioritise it. So the BME Role Model initiative was developed by Anita, an assistant psychologist, who felt as though when she had a challenge of patients being racially abusive to her, she wanted to talk to somebody like her. She couldn't navigate her way around the trust to find those. Those things weren't visible to her, so she created her own. The first time that I felt there was a need for BME Role Models was an instance where I had received um, racial abuse from a client that I was working not closely with, but they we had a, a relationship, so to speak. I just remember going home feeling like rubbish, basically, and that's not to say I didn't receive support from my team at all. They were very supportive in what I found a very difficult time, but I felt that something was missing in terms of having someone who's similar to me in terms of ideally race, because I was the only person on the team that was from an ethnic background and I felt like I would have really benefited from hearing a story or an event where they had been subjected to racial abuse and how they managed to come through from it. Hence the birth of BME Role Models, so the idea of celebrating the need for diverse people in the workplace regardless of the career that they're in and championing our successes recognising the hard work that we do, just seeing the strength in diversity and how it can empower services and bring something different, especially when working with people who are from ethnic backgrounds as well. It's given me that opportunity to develop a, a network um, for support if I need to, having someone there that's gone through that journey and I can tell them my concerns or someone that I can just talk to, reflect to. They come with energy and they come with true hope and enthusiasm for people. They can tell me that there is hope, you know, you do face certain problems but you, you do get over them and how do you come back from that or how do you learn from those mistakes or, or those challenges that you face along the way. They are nurses, they're psychologists, they're doctors, they're occupational therapists, they're community nurses, so they're at all levels in the organisation, but what they're willing to do is give their time to other people to listen and support.